Hi guys, welcome once again to the Visa Point Travel Channel. So hold up, you're about to go study abroad. And abroad here is really just any country that is not your own country. It does not mean to be a particular country, it's just any country that is not your own country. So you're about to go study abroad and you're confused because I've seen many people confused and they just don't know where to go, they don't know how to go. So you are confused right now. And definitely I'm talking to you so in this video I'm going to be talking about things to consider before choosing where you want to study if this is your first time in this channel I say a big welcome we love you here at the visa point travel channel but if this is not your first time I say a big welcome back don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss out so in a bit we'll be jumping right to those things to consider okay so welcome back so a first point that you have to consider is the success rate of these universities so you want to go study abroad i remember i said abroad is any country that is not your own country so you want to go study and you're confused should i go study which university is it a b c or d but first off you have to hold up and understand okay what are the success rates of these universities because you get the success rate from past applicants of past applications if you are going through a consultant or you're going through someone try to find out how successful are previous applicants in applying for this university so let me paint a scenario a university university b has a success rate of around 30 percent that means three out of ten students get admission and university c has a success rate of about 85 percent so what does that tell you that means that university c should actually be on your checklist or the number one on your checklist if looking for a school to study because that's a higher success rate unlike university b okay so remember success rate is the first factor to consider so number two or the second point you have to consider before going to study or choose where to study is the cost of living yes because you're studying that means you're going to be residing in that country for a while you live there you buy food you go to the market and all that so you definitely incur some cost there so you have to put in to consideration your cost of living because i will still paint my normal scenario university a has a cost of living of around 100 million dollars it's just a scenario it's 100 million dollars for a year why university c i don't know why i just love university you know, c has a scenario has a cost of living of around 50 million dollars per year that means university c is actually a more affordable has a more affordable cost of living so university c should still once again be number one on your checklist if choose but hold up if cost is not an issue definitely just go for your choice if cost is not something you are considering go for your choice but if cost is a factor which we've seen as a major factor to consider then definitely consider the cost of living of these countries as one of the reasons before you choose where you want to go study so number three of my third thing you have to consider is the course you want to go study because this um there are different universities there are millions there are thousands of thousands of universities abroad and you have to consider the course you want to study because it's best to study because a course in a particular place in a particular school that it is known for because you want to be studying uh, medicine in university c that is known for medicine and has good record with teaching students medicine or like studying it in university a that's not so strong with medicine but does offer medicine because once you graduate there is always some amount of recognition that is given to a school that is known for a particular course and you don't want to miss out on this recognition so the course you want to study should actually also be a factor yes should be a factor before choosing where you want to go study because studying in a place or region that is known or is peculiar to a particular course gives you a better edge in the outside world okay so number four reason or thing you have to consider is language barrier yes Language barrier is a very, very controversial concept because some people here say you don't need to, you can learn the language and all that. Yes, you can learn, you're willing to learn, you can actually learn anything you're willing to learn. But there are some languages that are actually easier to learn than others. And that means, and that, means that you have to consider this before choosing where you want to study. Or if you are very good in speaking English, I'm painting a scenario, I love painting a scenario, that's good in speaking English. 
you actually would do better or be able to flow better in a region that is already an English speaking country. Okay, in an English speaking country, unlike, unlike going to a region where that language has been spoken is not so familiar with you, you would actually have some issues in the first early years or early months before being able to enter in or fit in. So, a language barrier is a factor you should actually consider. Either go to a school or a region, study in a region that the language being spoken there is familiar with you or is easy to learn. Unlike going to somewhere that isn't so easy to learn, you would have issues being able to learn because you actually came there to study. So, language barrier is the fourth thing you have to consider before choosing where you want to study. Okay, so my number five point you have to consider is acceptance of international students. So, you coming over to study in another country that's not your country makes you actually an international student. And you have to find out is this country, do they really accept international students here? Because, yes, there are some countries that don't really accept international students, or there's a kind of reaction they give to you saying you're an international student. Could be racism, yes, or colorism, or one thing or the other. And you don't want to really be affected by things like that or get injured or get into trouble because of issues like that. So first find out is this country how is the international student system? Is there this acceptance? Is there this love? Do they allow them to have their communities and all that before choosing where you want to study? So it does not become an issue for you. And now to my final point is one my last factor you have to consider is weather yes the weather because some weather may not actually be so familiar with your body and okay let me paint the scenario you are a person that lives in a wet in a condition that there's no really cold or there's no really snow and you go to, to study in a place where there's so much snow and cold it will affect you for a while and it could lead you to developing habits like maybe smoking in order to just cope with that weather or cope with the cold in that weather. So, do your research. The best to study in a region that okay, the weather is favorable with your skin or you can easily adapt or cope. So, you don't have issues when studying. So, I think I've known to highlight six points of six factors for you to consider before studying abroad. And you want to go study abroad but you don't know how, then yeah. We are here for you. So just click the link in the description below and our consultants will be sure to reach out to you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. My name remains Miju on the Visa Point Travel channel. Bye for now.